What's up everyone, it's your boy Red 89 here bringing you another video. And for today's video, we're going to be talking about one of my absolutely favorite shows and favorite animation shows, just favorite television shows in general, Yu Yu Hakusho. And you might be wondering, like, you know, this is, this is a horror channel, physical media channel, what are you doing talking about Japanese animation on this channel? Well, Yu Yu Hakusho... In this, and if you talk about the English translation, it's also known as Ghost Files. That's another uh, name for the show. So this show actually does center around spirits, demons, and all that kind of stuff. So it does have a little bit of lore and a little bit of tie into the horror subgenre or horror genre in general. So I really love Yu Yu Hakusho. And like I said, this, this is my channel in general. So it doesn't matter anyway. We want to talk about what I want to talk about. And I hope you all enjoy this video because today we're going to talk about my feelings and nostalgia review of Yu Yu Hakusho, the TV show. Yes, I binged all four seasons over the last month, and it was a fabulous, fabulous return to nostalgia. So I hope you all enjoy this video. Stay tuned. Let's do this. Roll it. Also, sorry if I sound kind of tired or I look tired or anything. I actually just finished a 10-hour shift, like, not too long ago, like, literally an hour or so. I walked in the door. I worked 10 hours last night. So if I do look tired or I stumble or my words or I mess up anything, we're going to just attribute to a very long night at work. But, yes, today we are here to talk about one of my absolute favorite shows of all time, and that's Yu Yu Hakusho, and I really love returning to the show. And this is actually... The first time that I've returned to this show in my 30s. I've rewatched it multiple times. The first time I ever watched this show, let's just go right back to the beginning, was probably, I think, around the age of nine. I want to say nine or ten. And I remember watching Toonami or Adult Swim. A lot of people it used to be called Toonami, Adult Swim, Adult Swim, all that stuff. And they had Dragon Ball Z, Inuyasha, Yu Yu Hakusho, Gundam TV shows, all that kind of stuff was playing on that uh, TV show, and it usually happened at a certain time on Cartoon Network late at night when they knew, oh, the kids are asleep. Let's play the more mature content. And I remember staying up late one night, and I remember very vividly that it was the episode when the Four Saint Beasts, it was the Four Saint Beast saga, and it was right on the cusp of Kur uh, uh, Kurama beating Genbu. It was like right on the end of that episode, and it was Kuwabara about to take on... Oh man, Byaka, Byakua, I forgot how to say his name, but yeah, the like kind of white tiger, like blue tiger looking dude, like just right on the cusp of those episodes in the Four Beast, Four Saint Beast Saga, that's what I got introduced to this show and when I got really sucked into this show and I remember I was like, damn, I need to stay up every night or like every Saturday because I think they did it every Friday, Saturday night was these shows. I need to make sure I stay up and watch these shows. And I used to actually record them. This is also back in the day, too, when you could record on a VHS player. And I would record them while watching them on a VHS tape. That way I can go back and rewatch the episodes. So Yu Yu Hakusho is about Yusuke Yurameshi. It centers around him. He's our main character, and he's a middle schooler who ends up in the very first episode sacrificing himself to save a child who runs into the middle of the street. He gets hit by a car, he dies, and then in the afterlife, he is offered an opportunity to become a spirit detective, which means he has to work for Kowinma, who is one of the heads of Spirit World. He has to work for Kowinma and hunt down and do detective work, basically hunt down, you know, rogue demons and, you know, people who do, you know, bad things and all that kind of stuff. So he's basically a cop for the spirit world. That's what Yusuke Yurameshi is, and that's the main beginning and main start of our story. So that's one huge thing is that this being a show that, like, all the characters, all the music, the images... It takes me back to being 9 or 10 years old. So that's one huge thing is nostalgia. But that's not saying that this show leans on nostalgia. This is a very good show. And one of those shows that I picture as an animation show that if it wasn't for Yu Yu Hakusho, uh, there's shows like One Piece, Bleach, and Naruto, and Jujutsu Kaisen, and all those shows. A lot of them, My Hero Academia would not be the same if Yu Yu Hakusho didn't exist. It's just a flat-out fact. But, like, one major thing is returning to the show now in my 30s. Like, 
I loved watching it and just so much the characters being invested in them and it pulled me in and I had the same emotions I did when I was 9, 10 years old or 15 or 20 when I returned to the show. Every time I return to it, I have those same emotions. That's definitely a mark of a good show or one that hits home for you. If you're a person that returns to a television show over and over and you still get the laughs, you still get the heartache, you still get the joy, the laughter, and all those moments still really hit, that's definitely a show for you that is like set a key show. You know what I mean? Those are one of your shows and that's why I know you Hawk show forever will be one of those shows for me because I could return to it be at 40 or 50 or 60 and I'll still feel the same way about all these characters and that's part of the reason why I love the show Yusuke Urameshi when I view a part of myself like I, I view myself kind of in an anime form when I picture myself it's Yusuke and a lot of people like that know me in my real life you can t tell I'll talk to them and you know tell them and ask them and they're going to tell you that, yeah, there's a part of Yusuke inside of me and like a lot of that stuff. So it's part of probably the reason is why I didn't, my father wasn't really around a lot when I was growing up and everything. So that was one major thing is that my mom was my mother and my father figure, but looking to other, you know, children, especially at that time, like not children, but like characters in movies or cinema or TV shows. Yusuke was one of those characters that I would look to, especially when I was going through middle school, because at the time of the show, he's going through middle school too. So as I got older, when I would rewatch the show or go find physical media releases of the show like this, and I would go scoop these up and everything and go find these, like these are the episodes in the show that got me through middle school for real. Like it, it, it shaped a lot of who I was and who I am today is because of this TV show. So I really give a lot of props to this show because... Yusuke, Hiei, Kuwabara, Kurama, Botan, all the characters in the show, I love them so much. And they're like characters that I view of like family. And that's like kind of weird to talk about it and say that, but it's like that's just something and how close and how attached I am to this show. Talk a little bit too about the live action show because they did tackle this on live action on Netflix. And I really did appreciate what they were able to do because the creators of that show made it their own. And the cinematography and the fight sequences looked fantastic. And even the graphics, they looked really good. But something that you can never do in live action that anime will always be able to do no matter what animation will always have this over live action the world building and the character development is off the charts it is literally on a whole another level like animation stories and movies television all of it it's all on a whole nother level compared to live action. And it's kind of crazy because like I do talk about mostly live action stuff and most my channel is mostly horror and I talk about physical media. I don't really talk about a lot of Japanese animation on my channel, but for real, like this, I highly respect them. And like I said, shows like Bleach, Dragon Ball Z, Yu Yu Hakusho, Naruto, Naruto Shippuden, Tokyo Ghoul, you know, all those shows, Death Note. Those are TV shows that just, oh my God, if you watch them and look at those, even they have movies that go to those TV shows too, and you watch those animation movies, there's no way that live action can touch and do some of the things that they're able to do in those films and those TV shows. Another thing that pulls me into Yu Yu Hakusho is this is just strong 90s nostalgia. The way the characters are designed, the way they dress in the show, the music, all of that stuff, it's very... 90s and Yu Yu show. I believe when it first aired, it was 1992 or the first time it happened and it came out, it was 1992, the TV show. But of course, when I was watching it, it was, you know, reruns on Toonami and they were English dubbed. I didn't really see the Japanese original ones until I started collecting physical media. Right now, if you do want to watch Yu Yu show, if you don't have physical media like me, you can watch it and stream it currently right now on Netflix. That's where I also watched it too because I watched the physical media releases. I wanted to see how they did look when they were edited on Cartoon Network, but also how they look unedited, the Japanese original version. So I've seen every version and every type of show, a version of the show you can talk about. So that's why, like I said, I really am one of those people that just this show just pulls me in and I'm really obsessed with it because of how much I just really dug into this show, how much it roots itself in character development 
and emotional stakes too in this show there's character growth and stuff happens in the show yeah there's a little bit of plot armor i must admit that there are some characters that get a little bit of plot armor in the show but i like the fact that when yusuke kurama and kuwabara and hiei and all them and genkai they go up against foes in this tv show and you learn something through every arc be it the saint beast arc the rando arc the dark tournament the chapter black art, even the demon tournament, which I must confess the demon tournament is probably, it's probably one of the maybe weakest seasons of the show, but it starts out very strong. Like the demon world tournament does start out very strong. So like I said, I must admit, this is just a show that I find, it's hard for me to find flaws in it. There are things I can nitpick about and I can talk about and be like, this, 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 that. But this is like one of those TV shows that I have to struggle to kind of really search out and look for negatives because I have so many positives with this. I know I've been blabbing on for a long time. This is a long video, but I, this was going to be a kind of a long video. I already planned on it being pretty long because this was a deep dive of the show and stuff. And in terms of, I, w I think one day I'm going to do more as the channel, hopefully this video picks up and as the channel goes on over time. I want to do more Yu Yu Hakusho videos, like for real. I might have like rankings of the seasons and rankings of my favorite characters and all that kind of stuff because I don't want to tackle that all in one video. Like I said, this is just a video kind of talking about my retrospective review on the show and still this show is going to get a 10 out of 10 for me. Like if you've heard all my glaring, glowing recommendations and positives of this show, obviously it's a 10 out of 10 for me. Like I said, the flaws are flaws that I can easily overlook and like I said, ones that I have to really search out to find because like I said, every time I watch this show, it just hits the same. And this is one, like I said, I highly recommend. And this is a show that easily people who aren't into anime, you could get into this show and you can watch it. This is one that I would call a beginner anime show to introduce to people because it doesn't go too far-fetched out there. The concepts aren't too wild. Like I said, it has spirit world, demon world, you know, there's demons in it and ghosts and all this kind of stuff so stuff that we are familiar with as people and of the culture of watching you know live action and all that kind of stuff or if you're a horror fan it's gonna have stuff that you're familiar with and like i said this is a show that roots itself in really strong characters so if you can care about these characters and get invested with them you're really gonna adore this show but thanks for sticking around with me all as we chatted my love and i know i blabbed on and on and on about my love for Yu Yu Hakusho, please let me know down below in the comment section. Is this a TV show that you've checked out? How, what are your feelings on this? How does this rank amongst anime shows that you've seen? Or is this one that you've never seen? And did I sell you on it because of what I said today? I really hope I did. And you go check this out because like I said, there's no reason not to watch this show. It is currently streaming on Netflix and there are physical media releases of this show. There's Blu-rays and DVDs. So you could go out and search out and find these thanks for sticking around with me all please like the video that definitely helps out the channel subscribe if you're new to the channel have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime i post a video but most importantly you all know what's up have a safe and happy day peace out